Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Viking Rise Guide. Today, as per the results of the community poll, we will be discussing how to level your chief hall as quickly and effectively as possible. So, let's get right into it. The most important factor to consider when looking to quickly develop your chief hall is resources. Food, wood, stone, and gold. Without them, you are going nowhere fast. This emphasis on the importance of being able to acquire resources effectively is only compounded as you rise up the levels too. Yep, that is pretty disgusting right. So, we can all agree that resources are the foundation of rapid development. So let's take a look at improving our resource gathering capabilities. The single biggest income of resources will be through gathering on resource tiles found throughout your kingdom, but in order to gather efficiently you need to have a few things in place. The first requirement is having enough gatherers, or porters. I would recommend having at least 50,000 tier 1 gatherers to complement your fighting army. A recent update has automatically added a separate infirmary capacity exclusively for up to 50,000 gathering troops should you be attacked so you will never lose your baseline number of gathering troops. Take advantage of this. Do not be afraid to use Speed Up's training gatherers. It will pay dividends in the long run. Keep an eye out on the mercenary building too, and use your daily hires to obtain more gatherers. The second issue to tackle is gathering heroes. Here I have made a visual guide to help organize heroes into their respective resource speciality groups. Here we see Sheila. Snorri, Michaela, Elf and Waltham, who all specialize in gathering food and stone. Whereas Varka, Eric, Vendi, Svein and Eugen specialize in gathering lumber and gold. As a short-term goal, assess your own hero situation and choose a team from each category and level both heroes within that team to level 25 as soon as possible. After doing this, you will have four capable gathering heroes. Each can be paired with your higher level combat heroes to go and gather. This way, if you have four available armies you can send out at a given time, each team of gatherers could have a gathering hero leading the march to provide buffs, while the other hero could be a higher level combat hero to provide capacity. This is what I often do too. Make sure you make good use of your squad base. It is passive hero experience, and I personally exclusively use it to level my gathering heroes. Now that we have a plan for our gathering heroes and troops, we need to look at increasing our gathering efficiency further. The economy research is our first port of call. I would recommend spending some time researching at least the first two tiers of gathering speed increases to get you started. They are pretty quick researches to do and worth doing. The second factor is increasing your gathering speed or gathering efficiency buffs. These can be obtained with gems from your Manage City window, which is found by clicking the little green arrow in the top left. Or they can be obtained much cheaper from vendors such as the Clan Merchant and the Wandering Merchant. You can obtain the currency required for these as rewards for completing commission requirements. A third source of a gathering efficiency buff can be found from runes dropped by the monsters that inhabit the shrines and temples around the map. These last six hours and are worth making the trip for. So, to summarize, you have now obtained a sizable amount of gathering troops. Your gathering heroes are leveled and capable, and each of your marches contains at least one. You have a good amount of economy research under your belt and you constantly have two gathering efficiency buffs active at all times when gathering. This is a good position to be in order to begin the road to Chief Hall 25 efficiently. Now you need to ensure you have all available armies out gathering as often as you can spare them. As a side note, after reaching Chief Hall level 16 and building the smithy, another valuable source of resources are your daily monster hunts. You have five personal kills to make and five kills towards monsters your tribe mates summon. Do not forget about these. Now, let's talk about speed ups. The first thing you need to ask yourself when thinking about speeding up a construction is do I have enough resources to instantly start my next required construction? 
If the answer is no, then you should wait. Else you will be wasting time, literally. The second question is, are there any events within the next few days that give me rewards for completing constructions? It is always beneficial to try and finish large construction jobs during the first day of the Viking Rain event, which gives you immediate rewards and event points for doing so. Make use of the Divination Shack's available buffs to construction as, and when needed, as well as construction speed increases from runes around the temples. And if possible, request construction buffs from your current king of the server, all of which will save you speed ups. While optimizing your resource gathering and using speed ups wisely is the cornerstone to fast progression, there are also pay to win shortcuts. A new feature of the game now offers you specific packs for specific constructions that will enable you to acquire all the resources necessary to start your next build. These tend to have roughly the same value as the Harvest Season resource packs found in the mall, but may prove more cost-effective in certain situations when dealing with higher-level constructions that require more resources. A similar pack will appear after a building has started construction that will offer the necessary amount of speed-ups. And that just about covers everything for Rapid Chief Hall development. You should now be well equipped and able to optimize your city progression. One last thing before I take my leave. There is a new promotional code as of today. Hop this code into your Redeem Gift tab in Settings to get some free gifts. If you have enjoyed this video, do please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Until next time, Chief, take care.